An altercation with Tyson was the closest thing to the word fear. It would be on September 2, 1965, that the world would see Lennox Claudius Lewis, the lion born in London, United Kingdom. He was born in West Ham, a small neighborhood in London. His mother, Violet Blake, is of Jamaican origin, and his father abandoned the family when he was young. Due to work reasons, Violet moved to Kitchener, Ontario, Canada, with her son Louis. At the age of 12, he would discover his greatest passion, which would later lead him to face the baddest man on the planet, Mike Tyson. His classmates laughed at him due to his peculiar accent, and Lennox would often respond violently, which led him to be enrolled in a regional boxing academy in Waterloo, Kitchener, to try to channel that energy into boxing. There, he met a former amateur boxer, Arnie Bohm, who taught him everything he knew and became his trainer and mentor. At the age of 17, he won his first title, the Golden Gloves, in Toronto in 1982. The following year, he won the junior, sub-19, amateur world championship held in Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic. Lennox achieved gold at the 1988 Seoul Olympics in South Korea, defeating the future world champion Riddick Bowe by technical knockout. This is the second one. There right it is, hand. right hand to the temple. That's what started it. And Canada's Lennox Lewis now standing at ring center along with Riddick Bowe waving to the audience as we take another look at that devastating right hand to the temple. Lewis the Lion won the Commonwealth title in April 1992 against Derek Williams, thus climbing to the top five in the world rankings unanimously. He defended the title on October 31st, 1992 knocking out Canadian Donovan Razor Ruddock in two rounds to position himself as number one in the World Boxing Council ranking and thus eligible for the title. At that time, the world champion was Riddick Bowe, who had taken the world titles from Evander Holyfield but refused to face Lennox after losing to him in the Olympics. The WBC then declared the title vacant, stripped Bo of his belt, and subsequently declared Lewis the new world champion on January 14, 1993, marking the first time an Englishman achieved this in the 20th century. Lewis defended the title three times, facing Tony Tucker, Phil Jackson, and Frank Bruno before suffering a technical knockout against Oliver McCall on September 24, 1994. In the second round of the fight, McCall landed a right hand to Lewis's face, sending him to the canvas. Lewis managed to get up by the count of six, but strangely, the referee stopped the fight. It was a highly criticized bout as the referee prematurely stopped the match, causing Lewis to lose the WBC title. But this defeat only fueled the Lion Lennox Lewis to rise to 14 victories, 13 of them by knockout in the early rounds, although he also had two losses and a draw. By 2000, Lewis was a recognized champion, holding onto his WBC, IBF, and IBO titles, but he would face Hazem Rahman twice in the same year. In their first bout on April 22, 2001, in Carnival City, Brackpan, South Africa. Lewis would suffer a knockout in the fifth round, but Lennox requested a rematch on November 17, 2001, at Mandalay Bay Events Center, Paradise, Nevada. Good start as well. He's allowing Lewis to use the middle of the ring, which is what he shouldn't do. Lewis' back should always be two feet from the rope. Where Lewis spectacularly won in the fourth round, regaining his titles and setting up a subsequent fight with Mike Tyson. They're telling him not to counter punch. Ooh. As a result, the fight took place on June 8, 2002, at the Pyramid Arena, Memphis, Tennessee, United States. Tyson, who had been out of action for a year and a half due to biting Evander Holyfield's ear, returned with five consecutive victories, all ending in the first two rounds. The fight had a cost of almost $125 million, with Tyson earning $30 million and Lewis $25 million. Lennox was one of the favorites, but Mike always had that magic around his name, causing people to still bet on him. 
The atmosphere in the Pyramid Arena was tense, and the venue was packed with boxing fans eagerly awaiting an epic showdown. Lewis's team requested additional security in the ring, and for the first time, a human chain of security was formed around the ring. From the beginning of the fight, Lennox Lewis showed himself as a technical and calculating boxer, while Mike Tyson tried to get close quickly with his characteristic aggressive style. The significant difference between the two fighters was evident in the distance and control that Lewis maintained in the ring, landing significant right hands and uppercuts that troubled Tyson. Go to that body, go hard. Then make a man afraid of what's gonna happen on top. Go hard to the body. In the third round, Tyson managed to land a powerful uppercut to Lewis's jaw, causing the Briton to stagger. However, Lewis did not lose his composure and kept his distance, showing that he was more than just a punch. In the following rounds, Lewis continued to impose his technical fighting style, landing powerful punches and properly blocking Tyson's attacks. Doing to deserve these kinds of calls from Eddie Cotton. The sixth round was one of the most exciting of the night, with an intense struggle for control of the ring. Tyson pressed Lewis against the ropes and landed several punches, but Lewis managed to deliver a strong uppercut that left Tyson on the brink of going down. Although it seemed that Tyson might fall, he managed to stay on his feet. In the next rounds, Lewis maintained control of the fight, causing great frustration in Tyson, who could not find his opportunity to inflict damage. However, in the eighth round, Tyson landed a left hook that hurt Lewis, but this time the Briton withstood the onslaught and managed to recover. In the later rounds, Tyson began to show signs of fatigue, allowing Lewis to extend his lead in the fight. Finally, the referee had to stop the fight in the eighth round after Tyson received a significant amount of blows and showed that he was no longer in a condition to continue. Lennox Lewis displayed confidence and dominance throughout the fight, while Mike Tyson fought hard but seemed to be a step behind his opponent. The result was evident with Lewis's superiority, as he achieved a unanimous victory on the judges' scorecards. This fight was a lesson in how technique and tactics can overcome brute force. Despite Tyson's undeniable power, it was not enough to defeat an opponent who showed himself to be smarter and more cunning in the ring. The bout was a demonstration of how boxing can be more than just a display of strength, but also an art.